Hello and welcome to the next problem. Now in the previous videos we discussed about the majority element. Now in this video we are talking taking the next problem which is about the odd occurrence of a number. First of all let us read out the problem. It says given an array of positive integers all numbers occur even number of times except except one number which occurs odd number of times. But you have to find that number in order of n time and constant space. Now check this out. Uh, this is an example of an array. In this array you can see we have numbers which is 1, 2 and 3. So if I say the number 1, how many times 1 is occurring? 1 is occurring here as well as 1 is occurring here. So it is occurring 2 times which is actually even number of times. If I see the number 2, how many times 2 is occurring? It is occurring here as well as it is occurring here. So it is also occurring even number of times. And then we have the number 3 which is occurring here, here and here. So it is occurring odd number of times, which is occurring odd number of times. So we need to find a number which occurs odd number of times. This exactly is a problem. Now solving the problem is very, very easy, right? You can easily solve this problem. But the problem is can you write a more efficient solution? So there are three major ways that most of the candidates are going to try and solve this problem. Number one is by using the brute force technique. Brute force technique. What exactly the brute force technique is, you are going to take an array like this. Let us say some numbers are there like 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3. Some numbers are there. Now in the brute force technique, you are going to take two variables, the variable i and the variable j. You are going to increment j every time and then after the end of this loop after the end of this loop you are going to check how many times one is occurring and then you will see whether those number of times are even or not or odd if one is occurring even number of times then you will continue i from here otherwise you will uh, you know break the loop and you will say that one is occurring odd number of times now this brute force technique is very very easy because for every number you have to count what is the number of occurrences of that number inside the array. This brute force technique takes time complexity as order of n square but the space complexity here will be order of 1. Order of 1. Now as you see we need to solve this problem in order of n time but brute force techniques is giving us order of n square as a time complexity which is not required because we need to find more efficient solution. So second thing that most of the students thinks is to solve this problem by using the hash tables. Hash tables or you can say hash maps. For this you are going to take every number 1 and you are going to store those numbers inside the hash table and you are also going to store the occurrences of that number. So for that you just have to go through the entire array only one time and you will count the number of occurrences of that number and you are going to store that in the hash table. But the problem is this hash table solution is going to take time complexity time complexity as order of n but space complexity is also order of n because of the hash table or you can say because of the hash map. So it is not efficient in terms of space complexity because we wanted to solve this problem with constant space. So hash table is failing in the constant space and the brute force technique is failing in terms of the time complexity. So it is also a failure. So you, both the solutions are going to fail. Then the third solution that we need to find we should be taking order of n as a time complexity and order of 1 as a space complexity. Now what can be that solution? The, your problem? The problem is to solve this problem. I mean uh, <laughs> the, uh, we have to solve this problem but that, that should sh take order of n as a time complexity and order of 1 as a space complexity. For this, I'm going to write the third solution of the problem, which is by using the XOR. We are going to take XOR of the elements. But I'm not going to explain you the third problem here. But before that, I have to explain you how the brute force technique is working. How can you write a program for the brute force technique? Then how the hash tables are working. How can you write a program for the hash table? And then how the XOR gates or XOR solution is going to work. So let us start here. Uh, I'm just discussing about the first technique, the first technique which was a failure, which is a brute force technique. And I'm, then I'm going to discuss why it is a failure and how can we solve it. 
So what does the brute force technique say is that if you have an array like this, in this array, we are going to use two variables i and j from the first index location. Let us say we have an element x. We are going to go through the entire array from the beginning and then we are going to count what is the number of occurrences of x. After that, after finishing the entire array, if x occurs odd number of times, then we have to print that yes, x is that number. Otherwise, we'll increment this i and again we have to scan from the beginning that how many times this next number y is occurring. And if it is an even number, then again we have to increment j and i and again from the beginning we have to scan whether how many times this number is occurring. In any case, we find a number which is occurring odd number of times, then we have to skip. So, let us write a small function for this. It is odd number occurrence odd number occurrence or odd occurrence you can write a function like this I am going to take integer a as an input array as well as I am going to take integer n which is the size of this array now I have to take three variables here what is integer i j and count where count is for finding how many times a number is occurring now for i is equal to 0 that means I have to start from the very first number i less than n I'll go to the last number and i plus plus. I'm going to initialize count as zero and then for j is equal to zero j less than n and then we have j plus plus if a of i is equal to a of j then I'm going to do count plus plus okay and after the end of this if uh, count mod 2 is equal to 1 that means if that number is occurring odd number of times this will tell we are going to break we are going to say printf the number is the number is given by this a of i and then I'm just going to break so this is a very very simple implementation of the solution of this problem okay uh, for simplicity purposes I mean because it may not be clear I've written this algorithm entirely here so as you can see uh, what we have done is we are taking the array and we are taking the size of the array and the first loop is for every element we are going to initialize count as zero and then we'll go through the entire array from here from the beginning count every time that element is occurring after the end of this loop we are going to check whether that number is occurring odd number of times or even number of times if that element is occurring odd number of times then I'm going to return that element otherwise I'm going to continue with this for loop okay and after the end of this for loop again if we cannot find a number which is occurring uh, or number of times then I'm just going to turn minus one that I cannot find any number like this and this is also a very very easy solution now how what will be the time complexity for this the outer loop is going to take order of n square time n time and the inner loop is also going to take order of n time but because of outer loop the inner loop is going to run order of n square time so the time complexity will be order of n square but the space complexity will be order of one now this solution is actually failing in terms of time complexity in terms of time complexity so it is a failure because of this so we have to check the second solution which is about the hash maps or the hash table so in the next video let us discuss about the hash maps or the hash table